Quantum teleportation will soon be a reality, and teleportation in general. We'll see that today. But first, here's what's coming up in today's video. We'll first look at Stickbug, the six-armed pollinator robot revolutionizing agriculture and possibly saving the bees. Then we'll continue with a spectacular breakthrough in quantum physics. Almost perfect quantum teleportation has been achieved by exploiting noise, a discovery that could change many things. Next, we'll dive into the future of transportation with autonomous cars tested in the chaotic traffic of India. You'll discover how these extreme conditions could be the key to changing everything. And finally, we'll explore the frontier of navigation with a new quantum compass being developed in London with unprecedented accuracy. Let's get right into it. To start off, we will discover a fascinating innovation and a fascinating combination of robotics and pollination. I present to you Stickbug, the new six-armed pollinator robot that lives in greenhouses. It's a revolutionary technology developed by researchers at West Virginia University. With the alarming decline of natural pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and other insects, scientists are seeking solutions to avoid a global food crisis. As we know, bees are essential to the ecosystem, and that's where Stickbug comes in, a robot specially designed to take over from our little pollinator friends. Stickbug is a multi-agent pollination robot, which means it uses multiple arms to do the work. Each of these six arms operates independently, which could reduce planning complexities and increase task efficiency. Imagine an orchestra where each musician plays their part in a synchronized manner, but with a touch of independence. That's exactly what Stickbug does in greenhouses. This robot, equipped with a detection and classification model, allows it to identify flowers automatically for contact pollination. How does it do that? Thanks to a small felt tip device that mimics the natural pollination process. It's a promising solution to compensate for the decline of natural pollinators and ensure global food security. This isn't the first time pollinator robots have been proposed, but Stickbug stands out for its innovative approach. Basically, it can work autonomously while coordinating its actions with other similar robots, making the overall process much more efficient. During real-world experiments, a Stickbug prototype demonstrated its efficiency by performing more than 1.5 pollinations per minute achieving a success rate of 50% in just five minutes. And that's not all. Researchers have also created a publicly available flower perception dataset, as well as the software and design files for this robot. This allows other researchers and engineers to contribute to improving this technology. The next goal for researchers is to test Stickbug on living plants during the flowering season. If all these steps are successful, Stickbug could really compensate for the decline of natural pollinators and have a very positive impact on our planet. And of course, I'm not saying we shouldn't protect bees. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that unfortunately, natural pollinators are disappearing. And if we don't find a solution, we too are at risk of disappearing. So, this is quite an encouraging technology for our future. Here is an example of technology that could solve critical problems for humanity. So let's look at the optimistic side of technology and not the opposite. Moving on to the main topic of today's video, Almost perfect quantum teleportation has been achieved in the laboratory by exploiting noise. Noise, which is often considered the major obstacle to achieving teleportation, is now being used as an ally. This spectacular advance was made by researchers at the University of Turku in Finland in collaboration with the University of Science and Technology of China. And to understand this breakthrough, you first need to quickly understand the two principles at play here, quantum entanglement and decoherence. Imagine these two concepts as opposing forces. Quantum entanglement is the perfect connection between particles that allows the teleportation of information between two particles, between two places on Earth, if you will. Decoherence, on the other hand, is a disruptive phenomenon that breaks this connection between the two particles. To simplify, think of these two concepts like this. It's as if two musicians are playing the same song perfectly in sync, even though they are on opposite sides of the world. They don't need to see or hear each other. Their connection is so strong that they instinctively play each note in harmony. This seamless, instant synchronization between them is like the magical connection between the two particles. Decoherence, however, is like a malicious person trying to break this connection by making a lot of noise and creating many disturbances around them, making harmony very difficult. So that's a very simplified explanation of the two key concepts here. And this is where researchers from Turku and China have proposed an innovative approach. By using hybrid entanglement, they significantly change the noise affecting the process. 
It's like reducing the noise made by a third-party person trying to break the connection between the two musicians. And here, instead of harming teleportation, the noise becomes a beneficial element, which was not the case before. It's like the ambient chaos turning into something precious. Thanks to this approach, the quality of the teleportation is almost perfect even in the presence of noise. It's like an orchestra playing perfectly despite a noisy environment. Experiments conducted in their laboratory using photons have shown that this method allows the transmission of the quantum state almost perfectly. According to Jerk Pilot, a professor at the University of Turku, this discovery opens up new explorations in quantum physics and could really transform how we understand and use quantum teleportation. Quantum teleportation, according to the professor at the University of Science and Technology of China, is a significant experience that he describes as irrefutable proof of the principle of quantum teleportation and its future use in our society. The results of this research, published in the journal Science Advances, offer very promising perspectives for the future of quantum technologies. And who knows, we may very soon be able to master teleportation technology. Science fiction is becoming reality. Let's move on to the next innovation. Startups claim that chaotic traffic in India is ideal for testing autonomous cars. A bold but fascinating statement that is well worth exploring. Travis Kalanick, the co-founder of Uber, said that India would be the last place to adopt autonomous cars after facing the chaotic roads of New Delhi. However, some startups see things differently. For them, Indian roads offer an ideal testing ground for developing autonomous vehicles capable of handling the most diverse and unpredictable situations. One of these startups is Swayat Robots, based in Bhopal. They recently shared an impressive video showing their autonomous SUV navigating the narrow and disorderly streets of India. For six minutes, we see the vehicle, loaded with sensors, dodging obstacles such as pedestrians, animals, tractors, and a variety of motor vehicles, including scooters driving in the wrong direction. Sanjeev Sharma, the CEO of Swayat Robots, emphasizes that Indian roads present unique challenges due to their stochastic nature and chaotic traffic. This means that road conditions and driver behavior are highly unpredictable, and it's precisely this unpredictability that makes India an ideal testing ground for this type of technology. If the technology can master this environment, it could master any environment. Western companies are investing heavily in creating autonomous cars, and the technology developed in India could have a significant advantage in the field. While companies like Waymo and Cruz rely on detailed 3D maps and high-precision sensors, this startup in India is developing algorithms that generate probabilistic representations of the environment in real time. This is much closer to what a human does when driving. These algorithms can therefore handle the unpredictability of Indian roads by modeling interactions between different road users. In the demonstration video, the vehicle relies mainly on consumer-grade cameras. For Swayat, this success is much more than a simple proof of concept. It's an indicator that autonomous vehicles can be developed and deployed successfully even in the most adverse environments like the streets of India. Finally, to conclude this video rich in innovation, we will talk about a fascinating advancement in the field of navigation and head to London. The London Underground is hosting tests of a quantum compass, a revolutionary alternative to GPS. In the famous London Underground, Researchers from the Center for Cold Matter at Imperial College London are working on a technology that could change the way we navigate underground. They transport lasers, atoms, and a vacuum chamber into the depths of the London underground to construct and test a quantum compass. This compass uses the behavior of subatomic matter to determine the position of an object with unprecedented accuracy, independently of satellites. Currently, the Satellite Navigation System, or GPS, is essential for land, sea, and air transport, and countless applications today. However, it has limitations. It is vulnerable to interference, adverse weather conditions, and even subject to general relativity, which is quite a complex concept. Moreover, it does not work effectively in dense urban areas or underground. This is where the quantum compass comes into play. The idea is to use an extremely precise accelerometer based on the principles of quantum mechanics. The researchers are currently testing an autonomous device in the London Underground that can measure the train's speed and determine its position in real time. If the tests are successful, this technology could be deployed in the 540 trains that run in the London Underground during peak hours. This could not only save on extensive cabling, but also improve the efficiency and safety of this mode of transport. 
This innovation opens up new possibilities for underground or even underwater navigation where traditional GPS does not work. By reducing our dependence on satellite technologies, we can envisage new modes of navigation. If you're still here, thank you for watching this video to the end. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. See you next time.